Hi, I'm Norm Stockton here at Center Staging in Los Angeles, California. Good to be with you. I started playing bass guitar uh, shortly after I got into the Beatles, actually. Um, and I'm not quite that old. I was into the Beatles when a lot of my friends weren't. But I ended up taking a couple of strings off an acoustic guitar and um, you know, figuring out Paul McCartney's lines on a song called I Should Have Known Better. Kind of, you know, that song was sort of prophetic. <laughs> I should have known better than the, the technique I was using at the time. But shortly after that, I got my first bass guitar. And uh, yeah, from then on, it was, I was completely hooked. You know, the cliche of living the dream, I definitely feel like I'm kind of living it, you know. Supporting a family of four in Orange County, California is, as a musician, I don't take that lightly, you know, that's, that's I'm, I really feel blessed. Um, in terms of the day-to-day, -day, I'm on the road less than I used to be uh, during the season where I'm trying to be home a little bit more, but uh, to me, I, I feel like everything that I do sort of helps everything else, you know, kind of keeps things fresh. If I'm doing lots of live stuff, then when I do a session, I, I'm bringing maybe a little bit more spontaneity and energy to that than I would living the session life all, you know, all the time. The GK stuff definitely helps me do what I do. I can hear the subtleties and the nuances, um, but not in, a, not in a harsh way. And to me, the GK stuff, very, with very little tweaking, uh, is just extremely versatile, extremely musical, very, very effective bass gear, you know? And uh, what I love is that there's all sorts of different options as well because while my main rig is still the 1001 RB with the Neo 212 cabinet, it's, it's killer. And if you haven't tried it, you need to try that rig. But in addition, you know, uh, when I'm doing rehearsals and things, you know, MB212, little class D uh, head in that box and it's featherweight, uh, still absolutely kills, you know. And um, from, even from doing the GK demo videos that I've been shooting recently, I've actually gotten a good chance to get immersed with some of the other uh, GK amps that I, I wasn't as familiar with and to me one of the coolest things is the MVP um, and you know I definitely encourage you to go to the website and check out the demo videos of those because it makes it where you can have an MB combo that is really workable for most of your stuff but when you have something that's a little bit bigger you know loud drummer or whatever you just plug in an MB extension powered extension cabinet and suddenly you've got plenty of head, headroom and output, but it's still really lightweight and uh, very modular. I'm a huge fan of the brand and, and uh, love the gear. Um, but in addition, I really am a strong believer that don't ever approach anything um, from a sort of phoning it in standpoint. You know, it's like, oh, this is a lame gig. It's Tuesday night in some dive, you know. You never know who's going to be there that night. You never know who's subbing in the band that night. You never know when that guy's gonna be in a session two months from now and they're saying, oh, the bass player can't make it, you know? Uh, do you know anybody? It's like, well, a couple months ago, I played this divey little bar, but this bass player was there and he really played well and was a good guy, you know? And that kind of stuff has happened to me a bunch, but it's, I know it's happened to a bunch of my friends too. So to me, I feel like you just uh, try to be responsible and faithful with what comes along your way and I think it just works out, you know.